if you are a heterosexual woman or bisexual woman, the most valuable thing you can know is when a man hates you, okay? Do you hate me? Hey beautiful people, how y'all doing today? It's your Destiny here and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a video of a sister who came on the internet to talk about how to identify if your mind doesn't like you. But wait, let me explain. This video comes in two parts. So first off, she went on to list that things for you as a woman to identify if your man does not like you. And she went on to say things like, oh, he's going to be little things that you like. When people celebrate you, he's not uh, him not joining in the celebration, that means he does not like you. If he allows his mother to disrespect you, if he cheats on you, if he's nonchalant about your birthdays and Valentine, or he forgets either of them then he does not like you. And then she went on, after that video, she went on to talk about how men will stay with a woman, even though they don't like the woman, they will stay with the woman because the woman serve a purpose for them, which has a conversation that really strike me. But anyway, guys, let's go hear what she has to say, then we'll talk. Listen to me, if you have sex with men, if you are a heterosexual woman or bisexual woman, and you have sex with men, the most valuable thing you can know is when a man hates you, okay? Let me explain. If you express that something is important to you or that you like something and he belittles it or ignores it completely, he hates you. It's not a quirk. It's not that's just how he is. That's just not his personality. He hates you, okay? If your birthday comes around and he starts being mean or nonchalant, he hates you. He hates you. If he can't seem to remember your birthday or do special things for you on your birthday, he hates you. Same with Valentine's Day. He hates you. He hates you. You need to know that he it's you, okay? He hates you. When people give you compliments, watch his face, okay? If he grimaces or he doesn't like join in on the like celebration of you, he hates you. Mm -hmm. If you accomplish things and then he tries to belittle it when other people congratulate you, he hates you. Mm -hmm. Real bad, real bad. If he's constantly comparing you to other women, especially your friends, he hates you. He hates you. No matter how you try to join in on it and be like, oh yeah, she is prettier. Oh yeah, she does have a nice body. Blah, 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 blah. If he is just randomly bringing up other people and comparing you, he hates you. Mm hmm big time. Now this one might make y'all upset, but I don't care. If he cheats on you, at least in that moment, he hates you. Mm-hmm. He's comfortable treating you like a person he met on the street. And that's just what it is. He hates you. He hates you. Oh, bonus round. If he lets his mother disrespect you, he hates you. And not only does he hate you, he has a weird mom thing. Mm-hmm. Guaranteed. He hates you and also them two need therapy and you don't need to be involved. I want you to hear me hear me clear. Men make decisions based on what is beneficial to them. And a man will stay with you even though he hates you because your presence and labor in his life is beneficial to him and it will be against his own interest to leave you. Your love, your care, your labor in the home, the way that you take care of the children, the way that having a wife benefits him at work, church, school, whatever that he has going on, especially a lot of these like high power jobs, doctors, lawyers, shit like that. They need a wife because they cannot sustain a life on their own. They are getting free emotional and actual labor from you. And that is why they say so they would rather stay and have their interests served and hate you, hate you, than actually be like, you know what? I actually kind of hate his guts and being around her is causing me to feel insecure and causing me to feel stressed out. And this really wasn't a good decision for me. So I'm going to leave because in good conscience, I shouldn't be here taking advantage of this person. No, they're going to take advantage of you until they can find another person to fill those needs that's why oftentimes when women are diagnosed with terminal illnesses they're left by themselves the men move on and find their partnered before the woman even passes away these cancer centers are full of women with their men supporting them a lot of the women are usually left alone so you have to ask yourself if i hated this person i would leave so why are they still with me? They're very self-serving people, which I don't necessarily think is a hugely bad thing. I think women can be more self-serving than they are, but men will stay with you and hate your guts because it serves their self-interest. Even if it's down to, I know I can come home and have with her sometimes. Or I know I come home mad and she's going to coddle me and try to see what's wrong. Or I know I can come home and she will help me solve a problem. She'll help me with my business. She'll help me with my business plan. She'll help me study. She'll help me with my schoolwork. All the time he hates you. you gotta know what's going on, queen. 
please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts love to know what you think about this conversation down in the comment section so feel free to share your opinion this got people talking this got a lot of people's reaction let's go hear other people's reaction to what the sister said and then we'll talk does your presence and labor in his life is beneficial to him and it will be against him. men stay with women they hate because they're insecure the man i chased for seven and a half years got upset when i left because how dare the fat detroit hood chick go get a degree and leave him i was the one who was supposed to be good enough for him and this was also taking place center stage in his social group cousin had gotten married two best friends had gotten married and moved away and another friend was getting married as i was breaking up with him so he was feeling the effects of his social circle leave and not only that he was also starting to feel like well wait a minute if i don't have my social circle and they're witnessing my girlfriend leave me the girlfriend they've seen me berate tell was too fat limit her food say she shouldn't do this always editing me it was his insecurity that wanted the comfort of someone they could always talk down to. This round, if he lets his mother disrespect you, he hates you. And not only does he hate you. Please go back and watch her whole video. Because when I say if she wasn't being informative with how she was speaking, I would have felt bad for Phil. Like I could have added to some of her points, but instead I just listened. I'm just going to say this. If any of these things hit, run leave not now but what right now yes exactly leave right now don't look back if god don't fix it no one can please please run and will stay with you even though he hates you because your presence validates him to all the men and other women that he wants to impress because why would a woman like you, someone who is beautiful, educated, well-dressed, has all the shoes, the handbags, the furs, and the jewelry that they're going to think he bought for you, even though you already came into the relationship with those, you bought them for yourself, maybe your ex bought a few, why would you be with a bum? Even if he pulled the wool over your eyes and passed the same fraud off that he's passing off on them, on you, and you just wanted to give a guy a chance, right? But he hates you. Because you're the one that knows that he's a fraud. And he lives in fear every moment of you leaving him and exposing him. So he hates you. Because you're the only thing that he has of value. Nothing else is any value. Ask me how I know. Ask me. Something is important to you or that you like something and he belittles it or ignores it completely. He hates you. She makes an absolutely wonderful point, and I have some more to add to it if you'd like to listen. A lot of the men that walk this planet that you will meet and encounter will be envious of you. These are the men that are never excited about all the good things that are happening to you. Like she says in the video, they never like to celebrate your birthday or Valentine's Day or anything like that. They don't really care to do any of that. They will belittle your academic and career accomplishments by either verbiage or their tone. Last year, for a very brief period of time, I was seeing this guy and I told him about all of my professional certifications in production and process management. He looks at me and he goes, oh, wow, Brittany, you're actually really smart. I knew then that not only was he envious and intimidated by me, but my accomplishments felt threatening to him. Your accomplishments are a threat to a weak man. He feels like he is in constant competition with you. That is why he wants to pick fights with you. Your professional accolades make him feel worthless due to his patriarchal standards. He feels like because he's a man that he automatically has to be smarter than you. So he'll attempt to humble you whenever you try to present all of the things that you've accomplished within your life. They like women who are easy to manipulate and your education is just another factor that shows that you're not going to be easily manipulated and they don't like that. You can know is when a man hates. None of the things she names signifies why a guy shows quote unquote hatred towards his woman. For him to act that way, like... I wouldn't call it hatred at all. Like, men don't really... 
I don't even know how to put it. Like, we don't typically hold that type of energy, like, towards a woman that we're dating. Like, if we have issues with a woman and it's to the point to where it's like we really can't stand this woman, if anything, that man will leave. Like, I don't think a man is going to sit around and, and do all of that. Like, you know what I'm saying? And the only reason why a dude would do it is because he feels like maybe he's in a situation where he can't flourish the way he feels like he should as a man. You know what I'm saying? That's not hatred towards um his woman. You know what I'm saying? That's frustration because he's not where he think he should be. Now, what he's doing or not doing to, you know what I'm saying, change that is neither here nor there. But men don't usually gravitate towards the hatred thing when it comes to, like, being in a relationship with our woman, bro. Like, that's that's weird. Or it just could simply be the, you know what I mean, simple fact that the man ain't got used to the woman. You know what I mean? Like, and he just quite frankly fed up. You know what I'm saying? Like, he put up with her, but now he deals with it differently. That's not hatred. That's tolerance. Now, me personally, I'm not into holidays and stuff like that. Like, a lot of times I be forgetting people's birthdays or, or either I don't know your birthday. And we could be thick as thieves. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I, I'm not the type of person to really focus on, like, time stamps when it comes to, like, dealing with people. I don't do Valentine's Day or none of that. So if I date a woman and she really got to, you know what I'm saying, be in the Valentine's Day, I would need her to understand, like, me not doing nothing for her for Valentine's Day doesn't mean that I hate her. Just means I don't celebrate holidays. Uh Something I probably should mention because I don't like her video sounded personal, like it was geared towards somebody. And if it's not, I can stand to be wrong. I mean, I'm not here to really prove no point. But I mean, I feel like when you're dealing with a person like that, if that's their trajectory, if that's how they carry you, you know what I'm saying? You know, they know, you know what I'm saying? Like, see, holidays are something important. Your birthday, you know what I'm saying, like accomplishments, compliments, stuff like that. If you notice that that that's how they carry it, it's best to have a conversation versus assuming that a person just flat out hates you. You know what I'm saying? And that's a that's a thing that a lot of people are not doing in relationships now. And that's why I feel like a lot of relationships just getting flushed down the toilet easily because nobody wants to sit and communicate. You know what I mean? Chances are he could be going through something, you know what I'm saying? And like I said before, like, he may feel less than, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, that's that's a personal problem. Like, like that man probably should just, you know what I'm saying, stand on his two feet and go make some type of change, you know what I mean? But, um, ladies, it's, it's just, we don't. We 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 don't we don't date women that we hate. We don't sit around in relationships if we hate a woman. If that man is mistreating you, nine times out of ten, it's other issues. Trust me. That you like something and he belittles it or ignores it completely, he hates you. It's not a. Qu and he'll stay with you. He hates you, and he'll stay with you. I think so many women get it so fucking twisted if they think that if a man no longer likes you that he'll just break up with you. False. A man could literally hate your guts. He could hate the air you breathe and he will still stay with you. Right, Robert? Why, you might ask? Why would a man stay with you if he hates you? Because he's getting something from you just by your presence in his life. He is getting something of value from you. You don't have to be particularly pretty. You don't have to be particularly smart. You don't have to have a lot of money. Like, you do not have to be a catch in any way. You don't even have to be doing him and he'll still stay. Because men get a status symbol. There is a status symbol in being able to have a girlfriend and keep a girlfriend. Now, it's all sprinkles on the top if you are cute, if you have a good personality, if you have a good sense of humor, you know, etc., etc. That's all bonus points. But especially if you live with that man, you don't even realize how much unseen, invisible labor you are providing. And even if you are splitting things totally evenly, he gets a status bump 
just by having a girlfriend, just by having a wife. So he will stay with you until he can find something better. And if he knows that he's never going to be able to find anyone better, that's at that point he will start making you think you can't find anyone better. And then you'll both just be miserable together forever. I've seen men who hate the girl that they're with and they propose to her. It's crazy. Stay with you, even though he hates you because your presence and labor in his now, I hate to be the one to break it to you, ma'am, but it kind of goes both ways there. The reason why you don't want to break up with that person in that scenario either is because it benefits you too much to be with that person. You're getting all your physical wants met and none of your needs, and you're just as much as fought as he is. So for one thing, you're establishing to us why polygamy doesn't work because y'all consistently pick people that aren't good for you. You consistently pick people that don't like you. So how can you pick two men properly when you can't even pick one man properly? And how are we supposed to establish a major society if y'all consistently do things that doesn't benefit you on a mental and a spiritual level you can't actually have a matriarchy be established if that's what's happening but like y'all are just imitating male behavior and it reeks of this is what this person did to me years ago and i'm over it but now i'm going to become addicted to that behavior and i'm going to bring that behavior into all of my other romantic relationships like y'all can't even pimp properly anymore the reality of what y'all are actually showing us versus what you're saying is that y'all are desperate like at least with a hijabi woman it's rule number one if you do not believe in a loss upon a to a law they don't point blank period but like y'all are too easily influenced by people saying the word god around you but like there's no intimacy involved in that whole entire process of you trying to get this note get to know this person it's all about how much attention is this person paying to you and like look women can reject what i'm saying and they can come at me from any angle that they want but i have a mom i have aunties i have a grandma None of them are married for a reason, y'all. Please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. Love to know your thoughts on this topic down in the comment section. But please, please, please keep it respectful. You don't have to disrespect anybody to air your opinion, okay? So, sorry about the whole light thing, okay? My window is just ringing, okay? So, for me personally, I feel like this is like a two-way thing, yeah? It's not just a woman or a man thing. It's really the first list she had about all the infidelity the cheating the murder one the belittle things i feel like it goes both ways like i feel like it goes both ways and then i just feel like you as a woman if somebody disrespects you or you feel some icky way about something ask yourself really why are you really with that person does that person serve your purpose and then coming into serving your purpose the second part she talked about how men will stay i totally agree with you on that a lot of men will stay because you're serving. if you don't serve a purpose for a man he's going to walk away that like i agree with her on that one but also i feel like we women were more emotionally like if the person serve an emotionally purpose for us we will stay like they but for men it has to be very logical and practical for them if it does not serve the purpose, I keep looking at my memory card, it's okay. It has to serve a purpose for them or they are out. So, and I feel like we as women, we have to also start thinking, how does this person serve me for staying? Because a lot of the time, these men, they will not stay with you if you don't serve a purpose. So, why will you stay? Even if, why will you stay if he does not serve a purpose for you? I know, like somebody say, oh, but women do it too. I know women stay, but what I'm saying is that women do the more emotional one. They might have to serve like an emotional purpose for them. Maybe heal a childhood, um, daddy issues or something. But for men, it has to be very, very logical. It has to be something that benefits him logically, not emotionally. You get what I'm saying? Anyway, guys, I'd love to know your thoughts on this topic down in the comment section. I'd love to know what you think about this. Please share this video with somebody that you want to be part of the conversation because that's what we do. We have amazing conversation. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Smash the like button because that helps YouTube to push up my content and that will be you supporting me. Girl, with that all said, I will see you guys in my next video. This is my memory card is full.